What's up guys, this is Jake with Casually Commerce and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can remove this little Powered by Shopify link right down here. And this is something you absolutely want to do because if we take a look at some of the larger Shopify stores out there like Fashion Nova, you'll see they don't have it down there. Uh, Colourpop as well, another large Shopify store, they don't have it either. And neither does Movement Watches. So. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to remove this now for desktop and mobile. So it's pretty easy. You just need to go to online store right here, click themes, and then we're going to go to actions and then click on edit code. And then once this loads up here, we're going to go down to sections and open this up. As you can see, I already had it opened up before and we're going to click on footer.liquid and here's our footer code right here and then we're just going to click anywhere in here and then hit control F to bring up the text search and we're going to type in the word powered and now you can see down here it's brought us to the powered by link now depending on your theme you may have um, two separate powered by links within the code so in this case I'm using the debut theme so there is two separate links. All this is is this top link right here is for desktop and this bottom link down here is for mobile. So all we need to do is highlight this right here. So highlight powered by link and then the two um, little parentheses outside of them. Get rid of that and then come down here and do the same thing for this one. And this will remove the powered by Shopify link on mobile as well. And then we're going to click save. And then as you can see, if we open up the store again and then go ahead and scroll down, you'll see that the Powered by Shopify link is gone. So yeah, that's it. It's that simple to go ahead and remove that link. And this is something that provides you a little bit of brand authority, a brand boost um, when you do it. So definitely go ahead and do that. Like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to this channel for more e-commerce Shopify content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.